Tens of thousands of years ago, Earth was a stage for giants. Across vast grasslands, woolly mammoths trudged with their thick fur, the roars of cave lions echoed through European forests, and in the Americas, saber-toothed cats stalked their prey. In Australia, massive marsupials like Diprotodon roamed the plains. These were megafauna, colossal creatures, symbols of a wild world. They survived the Ice Age, adapting to brutal cold and shifting climates. But then came our ancestors, Homo sapiens. With sharp minds, teamwork, and sophisticated tools, they forever altered the fate of these giants. As Homo sapiens left Africa and spread across the globe, they encountered these massive creatures. Picture a group of ancient humans standing on a hill, eyes filled with curiosity and fear, watching a herd of mammoths move below. This wasn't just a meeting of species. It was a fateful event. Megafauna were unprepared for a rival like Homo sapiens, as one paleontologist explains. Humans didn't just hunt. They planned, worked in groups, and crafted sharp weapons. This created an unprecedented imbalance in nature. Homo sapiens didn't hunt only to survive. Imagine ancient humans setting traps on the grasslands, clutching stone-tipped spears. They moved in sync, luring a giant woolly rhino into a pit. Spears pierced its thick hide. The beast roared in pain before collapsing. A single mammoth could feed a tribe for weeks. Its hide used for shelters, bones for tools, and tusks for carvings. Around campfires, communities gathered, sharing meat while children played with massive bones. But the cost of this success was greater than they knew. Overhunting began to dwindle megafauna populations. In Australia, giant marsupials like Diprotodon vanished just thousands of years after humans arrived. In the Americas, saber-toothed cats and giant sloths met the same fate. In Europe, mammoths and woolly rhinos slowly faded from the grasslands. Hunting wasn't the only cause. As the Ice Age ended, Earth's climate warmed. Ice melted, grasslands turned to forests, and plains shrank. Megafauna, adapted to cold environments, lost their ideal habitats. Humans made things worse. They burned forests to clear land for hunting and gathering, unintentionally reshaping the landscape. Ancient humans didn't aim to destroy megafauna. They did what they needed to survive. But their impact was bigger than they could imagine. The combination of hunting, climate change, and environmental shifts created a perfect storm, pushing these giants to the brink of extinction. Grasslands once teeming with life were left with only wind blowing over piles of white bones. The footprints of Homo sapiens marked the earth, but the giants were gone. The loss of megafauna wasn't just nature's tragedy. It was the first sign of humanity's power. Humans weren't just part of the world. They began to shape it. The fall of these giants was the first chapter in the story of Homo sapiens' impact on Earth. From empty grasslands, humans continued their journey, carrying the light of campfires and sharp intellect. But the story isn't over. In the next chapter, we'll explore the cognitive leap that set Homo sapiens apart from all other species, ushering in a new era in human history. Please subscribe to the channel to receive more helpful videos.